<laughs> Hi, I'm Barlow, XYZ PDQ Boy with Hookah Pro. Today, doing a special shisha review, side by side comparison of Hookah Hookah's peanut butter. I'm comparing it with the Evolution T Shisha peanut butter. So, this smaller hookah has the shisha in it, and this taller hookah has the Tisha. Joining me today are Anthony and Travis. So these two hoses are the regular shisha. These two are the Tisha. Here is the entire setup, all the details of both. All right, Anthony, what do you think of <laughs> for the peanut butter shisha smell? It smells like just peanuts, not so much peanut butter. Yeah, I think it has like a roasted peanuts smell. If you smell it from like really close, it is not good. Yeah, you want to waft it, because this, it's like, what the f is that? That's horrible. And then you do this. Oh, peanut butter! Wasn't <laughs> that fantastic? <laughs> peanut butter. Yeah, this is extremely peanut buttery. This, there's no mistaking this flavor at all. See, I think that the Tisha doesn't smell as potent as the regular Shisha stuff. In fact, it almost doesn't smell like peanut butter at all. <laughs> that was awkward. <laughs> For the color, cut, and wetness of both of these, the tobacco is standard hookah hookah cuts into little strips. It's got the standard brown color, and it's about as wet as the other flavors. For the tea, it's a much darker color. It's like straight black. And the cut of it is way more coarse. It's as if uh, someone took a chef's knife and just started chopping up all the tea leaves randomly. So it's not strips. <laughs> <laughs> and it is a little less wet than the tobacco. As far as the smoke clouds go, the tea is pretty good and the tobacco not quite as thick. We decided that the tea just tastes more like the roasted peanuts, but the tobacco tastes like the peanut butter, like it's a richer, smoother taste. So, I mean, it goes without saying, the buzz on the tea is nada, because there's no nicotine. And the tobacco, not a super strong buzz. I'm just a little buzz, really not feeling much of anything. Me, I'm not feeling nothing because I've been smoking the tea the whole time. <laughs> yeah. I think that they both work better mixed with another flavor. By themselves, it's a bit of a one note flavor. And I kind of like my shisha to have more complexity to it. Do you think they have a jelly flavor out there? <laughs> well, they've got like strawberry, grape, strawberry, grape and stuff and like that that jelly. Like, right? Indeed. Yeah, just put like some sugar in your mouth and then like <laughs> yeah. smoke in the jelly and then like do the peanut butter. <laughs> All they gotta come with them now is like ham. <laughs> ham? Oh god! <laughs> Ew, sick! <laughs> ham shisha. Ham yeah, cheese, that'd be, man. That'd be good. <laughs> yeah, totally. <laughs> hey, you never know, they, they got peanut butter. <laughs> One day we'll be smoking Big Man shisha. <laughs> And it'll be like two Oscar bucks for McDonald's, Meyer. it'll be terrible. And the tea, it's more bitter than the regular shisha. But I think that's just because that's what tea is. It's a bit more bitter of a thing, you know? So whenever you try any kind of real tea, it's, it's gonna be got bitter. A bitter flavor to it. So <laughs> these two, we've been trying them at the same time, like mixing the flavors, and it actually is really good mixed creates that more healthy peanut butter <laughs> smoke taste. So, you know, you guys are like, oh, okay, so it tastes like peanut butter smoke. Thank <laughs> you. Glad I watched this. <laughs> so we'll start with Travis. Give us your rating of the tea and then the tobacco. Okay, well, on the tea, I'll give it a six. Eh, I mean, I'm not really big on peanut butter, but now on the tobacco one, I'll give it a 4.5. It's just, it's not suiting my, my Taste. See, it's so the guy who smokes cigarettes is liking the non-tobacco one more than the tobacco one. It's just... Yeah, he just blew your goddamn mind! I'm gonna give the tea a six and a half, and the tobacco a five. 
for me. I, I think I'm liking the tea more just because it is a little bit more tart. But together, like when they're combined, it's a I'd give that like six, seven. seven. Yeah, yeah, actually, yeah, I'd give that a seven, seven when they're combined. combined. All right, so what do you think? I personally prefer the tobacco over the tea. I give the tea a six and the tobacco a seven. I think it's safe to say that none of us liked this flavor at all when we started, but after about 20 minutes, I started actually warming up to it a bit. And now that I'm smoking the tobacco one a little more than the tea, I'm gonna have to put them on par with each other. I think I'm gonna change my rating to both of them are a six, so still not the best, but I like them both for different reasons. This one that it's a little smoother, that one that it's just not quite as sweet. If you like my videos, be sure to give them a thumbs up, ask me any questions you want down below, and uh, subscribe if you have not done so already, because you should. Mm. It'll better your life, like if you subscribe to my channel, you will find Jesus. And uh, it's that good. Yeah, Praise it's the Lord. That good. Like there's there's religion, and then there's my YouTube channel. You can do whatever you want in the religion of Barlow's YouTube, and I won't judge you. You know, I don't, I don't have any rules for to to love me. Okay. I do require that you worship once a week, though. For an hour, <laughs> just gather around, talk about how great I am, so and how I saved you from a boring hookah session. <laughs> I'm not blasphemous. I promise.